<laughs> well, Rasmussen poll uh, had a uh, provocative little poll today. They said, uh, do you agree or disagree with the statement, uh, it's okay to be white? That was an actual question. Rasmussen asked you know, white and black voters, and, and probably others, uh, do you disagree or agree with the statement, it's okay to be white? 26% of blacks said uh, no. It's not okay to be white. 21% weren't sure. Add them together, that is 47% of black respondents were not willing to say it's okay to be white. That, that actually, that's like a real poll. This just happened. Uh, did you have any idea? <laughs> would, would you have imagined that that could have happened? So I realized, um, as you know, I've been identifying as black for a while, years now, because I, you know, I like to be on the winning team, and I like to help. And I, I always thought, well, if you help the black community, that's sort of the biggest lever. You know, you, could, you can find the, the biggest benefit. So I thought, well, that's the hardest thing and the biggest benefit. So I'd like to focus a lot of my life resources in helping black Americans. So much so that I started identifying as black to just be on the team I was helping. But it turns out that nearly half of that team uh, doesn't think uh, I'm okay to be white. Which is, of course, why I identified as black, because so I could be on the winning team for a while. But I have to say, uh, th- this is the first political poll that ever changed my activities. I don't know that that's ever happened before. You know, normally you see a poll, you just look at it, and you go, ah, whatever. <laughs> you know, oh, this is interesting what other people think. But as of today, I'm going to re-identify as white because I don't want to be a member of a hate group. I'd accidentally joined a hate group. So if, if you know, nearly half of all blacks uh, are not okay with white people, according to this poll, not according to me, according to this poll, uh, that's a hate group. That's a hate group. And I don't want to have anything to do with them. And I would say, you know, based on the current way things are going, the best advice I would give to white people is to get the hell away from black people. Just get the fuck away. Wherever you have to go, just get away. Because there's no fixing this. This can't be fixed. All right, this can't be fixed. You just have to escape. So that's what I did. I went to a neighborhood where you know, I have a very low black population because unfortunately, the, you know, there's a high correlation between the density. And this is according to Don Lemon, by the way. Um, so here I'm just quoting Don Lemon when, when he notes that the, when he lived in a uh, mostly black neighborhood, there were a bunch of problems that he didn't see in white neighborhoods. Because black people, if you really want to fix the problem, here's just five things that you should think about doing. Here's number five, and if, if, if this doesn't apply to you, if you're not doing this, then it doesn't apply to you. I'm not talking about you. Here's number five, pull up your pants. Walking around with your ass and your underwear showing is not okay. In fact, it comes from prison when they take away belts from the prisoner so that they can't make a weapon. And then it evolved into which role a prisoner would have during male-on-male prison sex. The one with the really low pants is a submissive one. You get my point? Number four now, is the N-word. By promoting the use of that word when it's not germane to the conversation, have you ever considered that you may just be perpetuating the stereotype the master intended, acting like a nigger? Now number three, respect where you live. Start small by not dropping trash, littering in your own communities. I've lived in several predominantly white neighborhoods in my life. I rarely, if ever, witness people littering. I live in Harlem now. It's an historically black neighborhood. Every single day I see adults and children dropping their trash on the ground when a garbage can is just feet away. Just being honest here. Number two, finish school. 
You want to break the cycle of poverty? Stop telling kids they're acting white because they go to school or they speak proper English. A high school dropout makes on average $19,000 a year. A high, a high school graduate makes $28,000 a year. A college graduate makes $51,000 a year. Over the course of a career, a college grad will make nearly a million dollars more than a high school graduate. That's a lot of money. And number one, and probably the most important, just because you can have a baby, it doesn't mean you should, especially without planning for one or getting married first. More than 72% of children in the African-American community are born out of wedlock. That means absent fathers. And the studies show that lack of a male role model is an express train right to prison. And the cycle continues. So even Don Lemon sees a big difference in your own quality of living based on where you live and who's there. So I, I think it makes no sense whatsoever as a uh, white citizen of America to try to help black citizens anymore. It doesn't make sense. It is no longer a rational impulse. And so I'm, I'm going uh, I'm to back off from being helpful to black America because it doesn't seem like it pays off. Like, I've been doing it all my life, and I've been... The only outcome is I, be, I get called a racist. That's the only outcome. <laughs> it makes no sense to help black Americans if you're white. Uh, the, the, it's over. Don't, don't even think it's worth trying. Totally not trying. Now, we should be friendly. Like, I'm not saying start a war or, you know, do anything bad. Nothing like that. I'm just saying get away. Just get away. And here's my take on all of it. Everybody who focuses uh, their priority on education does well. If, if anybody in the black community focuses on education, they'll do well as well, because the, the system allows that. If they don't, I can't make that my problem anymore. It just can't be my problem. It can't be my problem if the solution is so clear, so available, and people don't want to take it. It's just not my problem anymore. So I resign. I resign from the hate group called Black Americans, according to the Rasmussen poll. 46% of them don't think white people are okay. Just being white. And there we go. You didn't expect that today, did you? (laughs) But the most helpful thing I can do is to say I'm not going to help. Do you understand that? Continuing to help in in that sort of you know classic, oh, let me help you, give you you know a lift up, give you a hand, you know, mentor you, hire you, prefer you. I'm going to stop all of that. I'm done with all of that. Yeah, no, it didn't work. The only thing that will work is to say, you got to fix your own problem. You know how you know how to do it. Everybody else figured it out. I'm not going to speculate, you know, why you're not doing it. I'm not going to speculate why there's a difference. I'm just going to say it's available to everybody. You just pick it up. It's free money. Focus on education and you could have a good life too. But those who don't want to focus on education, you just need to get away from them. Just get as much distance as you can. That's my recommendation. Um, And I'm also really sick of seeing video after video of black Americans beating up non-black citizens. Um, You know, I realize it's anecdotal, and it doesn't give me a, a full picture of what's happening. But every damn day, I look on social media and there's some black person beating the shit out of some white person. I'm kind of over it. I'm over it. Right? So I, I quit. Um, and it feels good not to be in a racist uh, hate group anymore. So I'm now independent. Not a member of any group. I do not align with any group. Not the white supremacists and not the black um, racists. 